President Obama journeyed to Alaska this week to spotlight melting glaciers, rising seas, and other telltale signs of global climate change. Alaska is warming twice as fast as the rest of the country, with temperatures in the first half of this year averaging nearly five degrees above normal. Glaciers are melting, coastlines eroding, and the people of Alaska are paying the price. It's time to cut the dangerous carbon pollution that's driving climate change. There's one thing more, though, we need to do in the Arctic waters off Alaska's coast. We need to protect those waters from the dangers of oil and gas development. Here's why. First, the oil and gas industry itself has proven it's no match for the Arctic. Three years ago, Shell Oil lost control of two rigs, one of which crashed into rocks and had to be rescued by the Coast Guard. Two, we can't expose these precious waters and all they support to the risk of a BP-style blowout. Finally, we need to break our addiction to fossil fuels that are driving climate chaos, not force these dirty fuels on our children and grandchildren. Let's invest instead in the clean energy future. Let's build more all-electric and hybrid cars. Let's fuel those cars with more clean power from the wind and sun. And let's take Arctic waters off the table to oil and gas development and all the damage, danger, and destruction it brings.